Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com. In this video, I'd like to show you one of the best reviewed technical commentaries on the book of Genesis. It's found in the JPS Torah Commentary series, and it's written by a scholar named Nahum Sarna. One unique thing about this commentary and this series is that unlike most commentaries in the Western world, uh, this particular series, the pages, the book opens from left to right instead of the opposite. So we open the book this way. We come to the title page, JPS Torah Commentary Genesis, written by Nahum Sarna. The ideal reader for this commentary would be those who are familiar with Hebrew and can maximize a technical commentary in Hebrew. So perhaps some pastors would fit this description, but I think more so um, professors um, who are focusing in Old Testament literature and are and know Hebrew or seminary students um, who are learning Hebrew or who know Hebrew and can maximize the insight that, that Sarna provides. An example of the layout of a commentary we find here in Genesis chapter 2. So we have the Hebrew in the right-hand column. We have the English translation in the left-hand column. And then we have the commentary below. Again, on both of these pages, we have the Hebrew, English commentary, and the commentary below. Hebrew, uh, English translation, I should have said English translation on the top left, and then the commentary below. The nature of the commentary is um, is not so much explaining the the all the details of the parsing of the Hebrew. It's it's more discussing um, particular words and phrases. So this comes from Genesis two twenty three. He brought her to the man. And then there is a two-sentence description about that. Um, this one at last, and the comment is just five words in contrast to the animals. Uh, f a four-word phrase, shall be called woman. And there is a, a paragraph of six to seven uh, descriptive sentences. Um Let's look at a, another example. So here, Genesis chapter 4 and Cain and Abel, to before the, 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 the discussion on the verses and uh, phrases and words, there is first a, a two-paragraph uh, introduction to the passage, verses 1 through 16, and then there is the explanation of key words and phrases that follow. So that's the general outline of how each passage is approached. You have the Hebrew, top right, English translation, top left, on every single page, and then commentary below. So, um, I, again, I think the target audience are those who are, are familiar with Hebrew and uh, can utilize a technical commentary in Hebrew. Um, but that's a person who will maximize this commentary. Uh, some pastors will, might benefit from some of the comment, comments below without knowing uh, some of the Hebrew, but I think for most people who don't know Hebrew, this commentary is going to be more advanced. doesn't mean you won't get anything out of it. The way I say it is I just don't think you'll be able to maximize the content in this particular volume. So, uh, but for those who, who know Hebrew and, and that kind of commentary is helpful to their purposes for using a commentary, this is one of the best, if not the best reviewed technical commentary on the book of Genesis. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com.